Buddy, to you live just a customer. Rally taking place tomorrow. According to officials who are involved with the ongoing investigation, they crossed the line. Man, the I can't decide where to go. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Just got in a big old S80 system. screws are in high demand. Hey, hey! The Sector 5 slums are right there. Sure, hope not. One of my friends told me that this hot mercenary got her out of a jam. Oh, this place takes getting used to. Yes, I'm not working today. Either. Think you can help me out? Lend the guy some money? How is it? That sure was some. Wall market's making you bad.
the Sector 5 Undercity Specialty Meatballs. Get back. I can fight too, you know. Try to stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. I've got this. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself. <laughs>
One of my friends told me that this hot mercenary got her out of the jam. So, do you think this means another war's coming? Found yourself some arm candy. Hey, you gotta be that merc. Keep it up, buddy. How exactly do you know, Aaron? Got any spare machine parts? Sell them here. My lights have been on the fritz ever since that explosion knocked out the power. Could be the wiring. Uh, get your hands on the hottest new scent, sunbathing chocobo. Cloud. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to back. Stay back. Can't you leave us alone? No. Calling fire. <laughs> 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 Gotta get a little payback for my partner. Come on, then. <laughs> 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 Some of 
soldier, huh? First class. <laughs>
deal with that. So it's my turn? Bundle up! It's your turn! I got this! Gotta be careful. Still in it. Get him! Take the lead. I'll take care of him. There. Hang back. Deal with that. Here goes. I'll take care of you. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> needed on standby for a job at something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that.
Sounds like you've made a real name for yourself, Bert. But the boss folks at Screw Avalanche and Screw Wu-Tai are filled with displaced residents whose homes have been damaged or destroyed. In an effort to aid the evacuation, Shinra is considering offering units in its residential property. The qualifying citizens free of charge until they can find a new accommodation. are unbelievable. Without the reactors...
Shinra's not gonna take this lying down. Can't wait to hear what the president has to say about it all. That's what's called easy. One girl loves to be fussed over by folks at the community center. And don't forget, they all wear homemade swords on their backs. Thanks again for agreeing to help you guys. Midgar wouldn't be Midgar without the plane and the reactors. Right? Can I ask you a super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. I know. You're talking about Walmart, aren't you? Now listen to me. You stay away from there, alright? <laughs> Long ago, when the Sector 6 plate fell, everybody thought it was the end. The plate fell out of the sky? Just that once, and it'll never happen again. But after it happened, the town became a very dangerous place. Sector 6 plate fell, everybody thought it was the end. The plate fell out of the sky? Just that once, and it'll never happen again. But after it happened, the town became a very dangerous place. You can see the sky? One day, I want to grow up and the children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing, I don't work for free, or cheap. But we don't have any money. The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. The Toad King wants to take over our hideout. He's mean and angry and smells bad too, so be careful. Sorry. belongs to just us. I don't want to lose it because of some angry Toad King. I'm 
I'm sorry we had to give you such a dangerous job, but there's really no one else we could have asked. You're our only hope. I can't believe I forgot all about the lesson. I the really messed up this problem, time. Right? I mean, you're a soldier. I'm very sorry, Miss Folia. We're all counting on you to save our hideout. I really like Miss Folia's lessons, and she's really nice. But she's also kind of scary when she's angry. We're all counting on you to save our hideout. I was just so busy with my patrol. Leave this to me. I don't think so.
I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. See ya. See you around. Leave this to me. I don't think so. Not bad. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about what happened. Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes? Going in. Sorry, but we're in a rush. Big 
deal. You'll feel better in a second. Take it off. Take it over. Looking good. Let's try that again. Stay back. Just, just go away. Brace yourself. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the King and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes! Yes, Miss Folia! I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well... Then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. 
Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Hey, mister, do you want one of these? Biggs gave me a bunch of his favorites, and I'm gonna read them all. Isn't this good? If you learn your ABCs, you can read any book. <laughs> you alright? Feel free to come back anytime and enjoy the flowers. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center. And I heard he was looking for some help. Oh hey Cloud, you're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you.
be here whenever you want to play. We're always looking for more Wackabox Whackers. Happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. Guardian Angel of the Slums? Such a mysterious figure. Always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The Angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. <gasps> Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the Angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. Care to stay and keep us company a bit? Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mirai, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Hmm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the whispered word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Shinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. 
Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in THE Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how do you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that. But I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. I wish I could have helped build the plate back then. Yeah, me too. Did you know? You're the one, right? A 
allow me. and pray.
This one's for you! Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell them what we found. Believe it, you found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the Angel. A warning! If the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. No harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! 
Don Corneo's no easy mark. I can't wait to see how this goes down. Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's pocket. <laughs> can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Cause they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. Wait a sec. So, you coming? talking to the Shh. So yeah. It was that kind of day. <sighs> Let's go. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey. What'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. Oh. <sighs> Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can, there's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go.
Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit. You're heading in already? Nah, not quite yet. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Uh. <sighs> I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say.
Hmm. Don't want to overstay my welcome. What are you doing? Uh, um, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. Jerk! I thought I told you not to leave your room. Now get back in there. Okay. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If it isn't the new florist. I appreciate you helping the kids out today, thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. Sure. Chocobo fabric softener you mentioned. Doesn't it smell heavenly? Yeah, I suppose, but it's not strong enough to mask the smell of the water. 